So what are we cooking for dinner? Just chicken breast and you season it. Like many women, Betsy Freeman struggles with fluctuating weight. After I see pictures of myself and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have got to do something here. The working wife, mother and grandmother felt like she was doing her best, even joining Weight Watchers. I've lost 30 pounds. So when a CT scan and tissue biopsy revealed Betsy had stage four endometrial cancer. I don't think it registered with me, actually, to be honest with you. I, I don't think it registered. It came as a shock. Cancer runs in Betsy's family, but never this kind. So how have you been feeling? Oncologist Noel Cloven. This is the most common gynecologic cancer. Says doctors see more endometrial cancer than ovarian, cervical, or fallopian tube cancers. People are heavier now, and this is one of the cancers that's associated with obesity. Look, I know what you're thinking. Betsy doesn't look obese. Well, research shows it's not just about what the outside looks like, it's also about what's happening inside. We think that endometrial cancer is related to excess estrogen, and when women are overweight, estrogen is produced in the adipose tissue, and so you have higher levels of estrogen that aren't combated by progesterone, and so that leads to an increased risk of endometrial cancer. Endometrial cancer is most common in postmenopausal women, usually in their 60s. Betsy is 58. Typically, it's caught early, but Betsy was having symptoms for months and didn't even realize it. The most common symptom of endometrial cancer is bleeding after menopause. Betsy's treatment plan included a total hysterectomy, then 18 weeks of chemotherapy. She's considered cured, but still takes medication because in two thirds of survivors, endometrial cancer comes back. Dig in. Another reason she's now recommitted to a healthy lifestyle. Still have a little more to lose. I would like to lose about 10 to 15 more. So that was like And why she encouraged more. her two children to get genetic testing. And they both tested positive. Mm -hmm. Betsy's daughter, who's 37, has already had an elective double mastectomy and partial hysterectomy. Her son, who's 34, will start getting regular cancer screenings next year. Your experience really could have saved your, your child's life, one of yes. them or both of them. Right, that right? is true. Yes, you know? definitely. Mm -hmm. You went yeah. through this to, in some ways, protect them. And of course, I'm thankful, you know, so thankful that hopefully they won't have to go through what I went through. Indicator. It's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm Sonia Azad.